Hi, I'm Lorna Clydman. Today I'm going to introduce to you the three foundational aspects of the kettlebell snatch. Now if you've already been training for some time, these are going to be really elementary for you, but hold on because as we go into the series, we're going to get more and more into the details of snatch, which is actually a very complex movement. So the first of the three elements is going to be to make sure that you connect your wrist to the uppermost, innermost part of your thigh, otherwise known as the groin or the crotch, okay? So when the bell drops and goes into the backswing, you want to make that connection of the wrist to the crotch or the groin because that's going to keep the bell closer to you and prevent any excessive pulling or load on your spinal muscles. When the bell goes through, you're going to bring the wrist right into that pocket right there, okay? Right here. So the arm connects to the trunk. The second element is going to be waiting for the bell to fall and not flexing over prematurely. So oftentimes beginners will want to flex 